Hey guys, it is Kay Jones coming at you with another video. Uh, today's RuneScape guide is going to be on how to kill Spindle in the wilderness. It is one of the three single uh, versus bosses, I guess. So you're in the teleport range, which is really nice, and the bosses are kind of scaled down. So Spindle is like the solo solo version and non-multi-combat zone venonatus so it's a single combat zone but the boss can still attack you but only one other person can attack you it is in the wilderness so there are pkers but i'm going to go through some things that may help you to try to um kind of grind this boss i've i'm terrified of pkers and once i got used to this and kind of went with the setup i'm going with i feel a lot better so Spindle is in the level 29 wilderness, so you can use a royal sea pod to teleport out. Uh, nevertheless, I wouldn't do this method unless you have a spy account or a scout. So on my other screen, I actually have a level 55 main account that's sitting outside the Spindle layer. It's a level 55 main account, and in my Ruin Light plugins, I have something called the Wilderness Player Alarm, and I have it set to where um, it will flash red on my second screen where this main account is whenever a Wilderness PK or, or any player that's not on my friends list or clan is nearby. It's going to flash red. So definitely have dual monitors because I think that's the best quality of life for this and you don't really even need to pay attention to the second screen unless it's flashing red. It'll catch your attention and you know, hey, there's a PK here, right? Or there's somebody who could potentially be a threat. So once again, that's the Wilderness Player Alarm Rune Light plugin and it, you can change the flash color to be different from red, any color you want. But have that on one screen and then have your main screen. Now, for Spindle, the, uh, this particular um, monster or this spider is weak to crush. You can range it with the crossbow and there are other methods, but my favorite is what I've been doing with for 150 kills. And I have a Dwarven Helmet, a Mythic Cape, a Vernic Defender, and Host a Zamorak and Hosta. And I bring my torture. When I die, I keep these three items and everything else is lost, which is only worth about 129k. Um, rune gloves, you can buy like 30 of them and so on and so forth. Look, I've got 15 climbing boots and like <clears throat> 16 rune gloves. So I'm not really risking anything. Additionally, you want to make sure in your settings you have PK skull prevention on. So when you turn this on, you cannot accidentally attack anyone. You cannot accidentally be scold. And um, additionally, by the way, see this mace right here, this wilderness weapon? He just teleported away. That's probably the best in slot crush weapon for Spindle. I don't have it, but crush weapons, bludgeon, the mace that you just saw, and Hoster are all fantastic. But yeah, PK scold prevention, so you cannot basically get scold and you're good to go. Now, if a PK attacks you, you can attack them back because that does not skull you. So if you want to fight back, you can. You just can't attack someone on accident or attack anyone to get skulled. So let's get into it. Um, that's my gear. Some people do like to bring proselyte, and uh, I don't. The prayer bonus is very helpful, but just not my style. If I get a PK on me, maybe I have a chance to get away with Dehyde. I don't know. I, Dehyde has worked for me, but a lot of people prefer Proselyte. Just something to consider. These Dwarven Helmets you can buy in bulk from Rupert the Beard. He's like south of the Mind Art Altar if you've done the quest. If not, you can bring Helm of Nezanot or whatever. I just like these this plus crush bonus, right? Alright, let's get into it. So I have a teleport to my house, um, but you can also use a games necklace if you want. Make sure you have that Royal Sea Pod because only an Amulet of Glory or Royal Sea Pod, I think you can teleport out of 30 or below Wilderness. And because this is in level 29 Wilderness, it's always good to have a teleport. Mithril Darts, 
that's really good for the spiderlings, and I'll show you exactly what that's used for. You can bring an anti-venom, but you don't need it. Um, if it makes you feel more comfortable around PKers, you can. Uh, I was bringing a stamina for a really long time, but I stopped doing it because once I got the boss mechanics down, it wasn't really an issue. Now, before, I'm not going to list what you need to do for Spindle. I'm going to actually show you. So we're going to go ahead and head out there. And I'm going to explain everything and how to kill this boss. Because I feel like um, in videos, people just list what to do and it's really confusing. So you can go from your house or just... Um, get a games necklace and you're going to teleport to the corporal beast so once again you can just have a games necklace in your inventory and hit corporal beast make sure that um, before you leave this building that the items kept on death you're happy with and everything looks good make sure you have that royal seed pod and additionally that you have uh, or glory either or all right so let's get into it my scout is at that location and I highly recommend doing this during the work week. Some people don't have that luxury, but it is a lot busier on um, weekends for sure. So we're going to be heading up north, as you can see. This is the dungeon where the Corporal Beast is, and we're just going to be running right up here to this dungeon. So just run north right here. Okay. You're going to see X Microscope X, that is the level 55 main. I don't suggest having a level 3 out here because you could get wrecked just from like skeletons, zombies, whatever, that kind of stuff. If you have 20 KC, you can peek in here. It seems quiet, no one's in here, but you can peek and basically look to see, God, that's annoying, let me dismiss this butthole. Um, you can peek and make sure that, you know, it's good to go. Um, and enter. So I'm going to go ahead and pray melee. I'm going to pot up to super combat. In melee zone, we're going to do a couple kills, so don't worry. In melee zone, sorry, I've got a PK or something. We're safe. In melee zone, though, you will only get meleeed. It's when you're farther from the boss that you'll be hit with range or mage. So try to stay in melee zone. Spindle has like kind of a rotation. Um, and I'll explain that as I'm doing it. Make sure that your hosta is on crush or that your weapon is on crush. Um, she does throw out a web like this and that will decrease your prayer and your run energy. So you're wanna gonna, you're going to want to avoid it, okay? So anytime you can, try to stand on the outside walls of spindle like this. Um, so here are the spiderlings. I'm just going to put on my darts and just quickly kill the spiderling, bleh, spiderlings and just get right back on Spindle. So, um, so Spindle just said spiderlings. Then she runs in a corner and just kind of attacks you. And then she'll run to another corner. And this is when you know she's going to throw her webs. Okay? So she's going to do her webs there. And I know she's now going to run to another corner and just attack me. And then the next corner she runs to, she's going to be throwing out those spiderlings again. So she does a rotation. It goes spiderlings, corner, attacks you, corner, webs you, corner, attacks you, and then spiderlings. That may sound confusing, but when you get around 20 KC, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So as I attack her, we'll just continue. Um, those were, I believe it was the spiderlings. So she's in the corner right now and um dead i was going to continue the rotation but um it's really not as complicated as i'm making it sound it's just that when you've been at the boss long enough you know what she's going to do now if you're not right on top of, i didn't mean to combat pot there if you're not right on top of the boss um to melee her she will be either ranging or maging you she switches off from mage and range every so often. And so if you're far away, oops, darting her. If you're far away from her, you're going to want to pray range or mage. That's why I kind of like dehyde is it has a little bit of a protection from mage. I don't know. Just something I've noticed. So as we saw, those were the spiderlings. Now she's going to her corner and she's going to attack. We know we're safe. Oh, never mind. Sorry. I got the rotation wrong. So we're gonna start over. She's in her corner. 
we're good. The next corner that she goes to, she's going to drop out spiderlings. So here she goes. We try to avoid the web. And she's going to have spiderlings pop out. Okay? So we know the next corner she runs to, she's just going to be attacking. That's all she's going to be doing. So we're safe. There's not going to be any webs right now. But the next corner she moves to, there's going to be webs. So I want to kind of try to stay on the outside of things, you know, out here. Because if she throws a web, at least it's not in the middle of the room where you can be dragged as much. See what I mean here? So that's, that's what I mean by that. Now she's going to start over the rotation. She's just attacking me in the corner or that location. And then the next spot she runs to, she's going to spawn spiderlings, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and just dart them down. Ta-da. And she's now going to run to another corner and just attack me in the corner. So she kind of has an intermittent, intermittent thing. And then the next corner she goes to, she's going to do webs. See what I'm saying? Um, we know she's going to do webs, so I'm going to go to the side corner and I'm just kind of wait. There are the webs. Okay, there we go. And now she's going to another spot and she's just going to melee me. But we know the next spot she goes to is going to be spiderlings. See what I'm saying? This rotation. So you kind of can, can pick that up. Um, and you don't need darts for these spiderlings. It's just the fastest way to, to go about it. And that's spindle. Like... Very straightforward boss. Um, you may get hit a lot in the beginning, but as you get better and better, you're really going to need less supplies. She does drop a piece of the Void Waker, I think it is. Not sure. I've been out of the game for a while. But it's like one of the best weapons, spec weapons in the game. So that's really juicy. She drops a Dragon Pickaxe, which is awesome. And here she goes. She starts with Spiderlings every time. The boss always starts with Spiderlings. You want to kill them because they drain your run and your prayer. Now she's just attacking me in the corner. And then we know the next corner she goes in, she's going to do webs. So we're going to go on the outside like this, okay? And I did get hit with a mage attack there, but that's okay. Now I'm going to stand far away from her just so you can see the difference between her mage and range attacks. The blue is mage. And then the green, let's see, I'll try to get away here. The green is range. She, she switches attacks, I think, every corner she runs in, to be honest. Um, I'm not too sure about that. I'm always in me melee range, but I'm pretty sure every corner she runs to, she switches it up. So right now it should be mage. So see, every time she runs to a new spot, she switches to the other attack. So the next corner she attacks, you'll be range. But um, like I said, if you're doing the method I'm doing and paying attention, you, you shouldn't have to be hit by that very much if you're on top of it. Um, but there, I was getting kind of lazy and further away to kind of show you all the different attacks. The blue is mage and the green is range. Um, so there we have it. That's spindle. And like I said, once you have gotten some kills under your belt, She's really straightforward. On my other monitor, I have the alt account just checking things out, and it will flash red whenever there's a PKer. If y'all have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I know people love to give their opinion on if this guide is junk or if it really helps them. I like to really hop right into things and to show people exactly what's going on and to try not to overcomplicate it. But I do feel like this boss is really relaxing once you can kind of get that alt account and look for PKers. And as soon as you see them flashing on that screen outside the cave, just right away, just click your seed pod and you can come straight back out here from the Corporal Beast. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see y'all next time. Kudos.